Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be investigating a character that I don't think a single person or player has ever seen in game. So I actually got a handful of messages about this on my Facebook page the other day. And it's about this character named Falconer Jerry. And at first I was like, who the heck is Falconer Jerry? And apparently I am not alone in this confusion as I started doing some research and I got a lot of forum threads and posts on Twitter and social media and YouTube videos talking about how they've never seen him before. And none of the posts have actually found this Falconer Jerry. So you might be wondering, where do you hear or even see about this guy? Well, you actually have to visit the Trapper who, if you just like stay in one of the main menus, he'll actually tell you guys about a handful of things. Some are actually interesting tales that actually occur. Some mention like the Canada border, which is kind of interesting. I'll let you guys take a listen to this right here. A lot of folk hunt, but not so many know their way around a needle and thread. It's good business, I'm telling you. A lot of folk want to apprentice under me. <laughs> I got no competition. Why would I want some? Dakota, tall trees, big valley, Roanoke. I run this stall just about everywhere. Best way to source the skins. Every one of my garments is a little different, because every pelt is a little different. You'll find them nowhere else. I've run this stall all the way from here to the border. The northern border, that is, and I've never been out of work. Wish I never had to take my stall into the city. Just like I wish country folk had any damn money. <laughs> Some of the things folk bring me to work with. Dead squirrels, cats full of buckshot. City folk, eh? Ever been down in Gap Tooth Ridge? Local legend speaks of a white cougar. Giaguro. Well, it's no legend. I saw it once, for a second. No point chasing. It was gone. You been up to the ridge west of Annisburg? Good hunting. You meet a falconer named Jerry. Tell him I said hi. Okay, so as you heard there at the very end, the trapper mentions Falconer Jerry. So he says that Falconer Jerry is located on the ridge to the west of Annisburg. Now, if we take a quick peek at the map, it's pretty clear that what he's talking about is the area of Roanoke Ridge. Now, the only problem with that, as you guys can see here, Roanoke Ridge is pretty big. There's like a lot of area to explore here. So I wanted to see if we could find out who Falconer Jerry is and where he might be too. So I'm sure you guys also might be confused on what a falconer actually is. Trust me, I was in the same boat. I had no idea either. I had assumed it had something to do with birds or falcons based off of the name, but I couldn't be too sure. A falconer is apparently a person who keeps, trains, or hunts with falcons, hawks, or other birds of prey. So you can understand why he might be closely related to the trapper, they both have to do with hunting and nature, birds in general. So that's kind of interesting. Now you know who we're sort of looking for. Someone that would be in touch with nature, in touch with birds. So I headed to Annisburg and honestly what I was just trying to do was find interesting things along Roanoke Ridge. And I did come across a couple. And you guys can decide for yourself whether or not you think Falconer Jerry is related to one of these people. So the first thing I came across, I at first thought this was like a secret entrance to some little mine or house or something like that. I actually got really excited at first, but it turns out that this is just sort of like an escape hatch for the Annisburg mine, which we've already covered in a previous video. So this turned out to be not all that exciting. It's kind of disappointing. There's a couple of those little hatches that you'll find throughout the world. Uh, and that are really close to Annisburg. So unfortunately, that didn't really lead to anything. The next encounter I came across, I'm not sure if this is a chance encounter or if this is just a random event, but I found this guy like trying to get away with a murder. Take a listen to this. Listen, fool, stay the hell away. Well, what have we got here? Why? You gonna do something about it? Caught in the act, you little shit. 
Is this your dumb way of looking for trouble? Just calm down. You think I really give a damn about this? Damn fool. Just get out of here. You're a joke. Ah, oh, you're done! Okay, so that was kind of interesting right there. Now, I don't know if this person we came across could be Falconer Jerry. We can't actually loot him. We can only pick him up. He doesn't look like someone that would be a Falconer. He's wearing like a suit. And uh, we end up getting wanted for this. Or at least a witness sees us. It's this guy on a donkey. I've never seen someone riding a donkey other than Mama Watson. So that was kind of interesting right there. It looks like the guy who killed him wasn't uh, Falconer Jerry either. Kind of interesting. I don't know like what that encounter was again, uh, but it was kind of random. Now, I'm sure a lot of people might also get Falconer Jerry confused with this guy right here. This is the hermit. Trust me, they are not the same person. I'm not buying it, and I don't want it. I said I'm not buying it, and I don't want it. <sighs> Are you deaf? Get lost. Piss off. Go away. Ooh. Don't make me come out, sir. Don't make me come out, sir. Ooh. Could you do me a favor and go away now, please? Will you please go away and bother somebody else? Whatever you're selling, I don't want it. Whatever it is you want, do it somewhere else. Oof. I have no interest in helping you, meeting you, befriending you, getting robbed by you. Oh, you don't scare, scare me. me! Bugger off! Go away! Somebody wants to speak to you. Somebody a long way away. Go and speak to them! Persistent asshole, aren't you? Do not annoy me. Get lost. So even though this guy might fit the description of someone weird hanging out in Roanoke Ridge, Again, this is not the same guy. The Hermit Man and Falconer Jerry seem to be completely different people. Now, another interesting encounter that I had never come across before was I think this group of Murphy Broods who were doing this at a campsite. <laughs> These here are city folk. They're going to have trinkets in the hole. I want food, not trinkets. Can't eat trinkets. Well, food don't go make you pretty. <laughs> You ain't never gonna be pretty. That ain't how you was acting last night. <laughs> you shut up about that. Mm -hmm. Go. Hey, look at this hat. Why, well, I look like a sand Denis gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> you look just like one. But you sure don't smell like one. <laughs> well, yeah, well, I wouldn't want to smell like no city boy anyway. They smell like dinner to me. Take that stupid thing and let's go. I'll let the law deal with you, you reprobate. So what I did after that is I ended up finishing off the Murphy Bruds, and I ended up coming back to that campsite. Again, could these two people be Falconer Jerry? I'm not sure. They don't really look like a Falconer, whatever a, a Falconer is supposed to look like. So... I think this mystery is still going to be unsolved. So let's talk about a couple of different theories as to what might have happened to Falcon or Jerry. The first is that he simply doesn't exist. So this was just a line of dialogue said by the trapper, and it might have just been thrown in there to add to the realism of the game. So Falcon or Jerry might not necessarily be a character at all, but just a friend or a colleague that the trapper is referring to. The second is that he truly hasn't been found. Maybe there's some sort of unlock sequence or trigger that you have to activate in order for him to show up. Maybe this character will be someone that's easier to find when hopefully the PC version of the game is released. That's just a thought right there. Uh, and my third and final theory is that he's someone like Gavin, that he's not meant to be found, that this is one of those characters that Rockstar has added into the game 
that just are meant to keep us endlessly searching, to hopefully keep exploring new things. And honestly, at the end of the day, that's what I was able to accomplish for about the hour that I spent looking for him. I mean, I came across a lot of cool stuff that I had never seen before, including this a structure, the abandoned trading post. I had like no idea this was even a thing. There's even like a hidden stash of money in there, which is kind of cool. So it did lead me to find a lot of interesting things that I'd never come across before. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Number one, have you heard the trapper mention his colleague or friend Falcon or Jerry? And number two, have you found any in-game clues that might have suggest he is a real character and that he might actually be in Roanoke Ridge? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.